Kia ora tamariki. Welcome, haere mai, to another kids yoga session. My name is Lucy and today we're going to bring our hands onto our heart and start with a breath that we call heart breath or manoa. So hands on your heart. As you breathe in, stretch your arms as wide as possible, reaching your hands out, wriggling your fingers even. And as you breathe out, bring your hands all the way back onto your heart. Let's do that again, taking a deep breath in, breathe in, happiness, warmth, sunshine, aroha. And as you breathe out, breathe out that same happiness, warmth, sunshine and aroha to the world. One more time, big deep breath, stretch your heart out super wide, take it all in. And as you breathe out, breathe out, sharing all that joy, all that happiness, all that love with all beings. Bring your hands together and rub your hands so you feel that same warmth. Rub them a little bit faster. Yes. And stop. Feel that. Do you feel that energy between your two hands? Bring your warm hands, your twinkly hands, onto your heart and just listen. Maybe you can hear your heart beating. La long, la long, la long, la long, la long, la long. Or maybe you can feel it. Oh yes, I feel mine. My heart is very happy that you've joined me today. So we're going to rub our hands again and sing a little song. One, two, three, sing along with me. Let's rub our hands together. Let's rub our hands together. Let's rub our hands together. Then take a breath or two. Take a nice deep breath in. Look up to the sky and bring your hands all the way back to your heart. Take one more breath, breathe in, breathe up to the sunshine and breathe your hands all the way back down to meet at your heart. Now let's reach our arms up again and reach our hands to the sky, to the sun. Let's reach our hands to the sky, let's reach our hands to the sky, let's reach our hands to the sky, and down to touch the earth. Are your hands on the earth? Can you tap a heartbeat? Or maybe the beat of the rain? Okay, let's come up again and reach our arms up wide. Nice and wide and twinkle the fingers. Let's twinkle like a star, let's twinkle like a star, let's twinkle like a star, then back to mountain pose. Bring your hands in, you might remember this one from last time. Stay nice and strong like a mountain. Take a big breath and roar it out. <laughs> Okay, and let's shake ourselves all over. Get rid of all the shakes, all the sillies, okay? Let's shake ourselves all over. Let's shake ourselves all over. Let's shake ourselves all over. Then comes all very still. Let's all sit down together, let's all sit down together, let's all sit down together and touch our toes to nose.
Try one foot first, pick it up, bring the, the toes in. Oh, oh, I've got an itch on my nose. Oh, thank you, toes. Reach your toes back out. Try the other foot. Oh, I've got an itch on my ear. Oh, thank you, toes. <laughs> Stretch both feet out. Roll the shoulders back. Bring both feet in. Stand up tall. And we're going to play a little game to see if you remember some of the poses or the yoga shapes from last time. Okay, don't worry, I'll be there to help. Okay, come into a star. That's right, try your luck at mountain. Great work, okay. What else do we do? Okay, do you remember seed pose or rock pose? That's right, all the way to the ground. Tuck in. And do you remember flower pose? Did we do a flower pose? I'm sure we did. Come up onto your knees, reach your hands up, palms touch. Then open your petals out. Lift your face to the sun. <sighs> Bring your hands into touch. Bring them down, down, down to meet your heart. And come back into your seed pose. Deep in the earth. Lift your head again and bring your feet to your mat or to the floor. And do you remember our frog jumps? Yes, arms in between the knees, bouncing on the balls of the feet. Let's do three frog jumps. One, two, work everybody. Standing up again. <sighs> Rolling our shoulders back and down. Hands by the sides. <sighs> okay, standing on your feet everybody. We're going to play a little game to see if you remember the yoga poses from last time. This game's called Yogi Says. So, me, the yogi, I will say, yogi says, and a pose, and you'll come into that pose. See if you can remember. Don't worry, I'll help you. Okay. <clears throat> yogi says, come into star pose. Great work. Yogi says, come into seed pose. Do you remember that? Nice and close to the ground, like a rock even. Yogi says, jump like a frog. Yes, we got that. Knees out wide, hands in between. Jumping on the balls of our feet. Ready for three jumps. One, two, three. Come into mountain pose. Don't do it. I didn't say Yogi says. I forgot to mention. I must say Yogi says. We'll try one more round. Yogi says, reach your hands to the sun. Yogi says, reach your hands to the earth. Yogi says, come into seed pose. Yogi says, grow into a beautiful flower. Reach your hands up, palms touch, open the petals, lift your face to sky, hands come back down by the sides, <gasps> wasn't Yogi says, but Yogi says jump like a frog, three times, again, one, two, three. 
So Yogi says touch your toes. And Yogi says touch your knees. Yogi says make circles with your knees. And Yogi says bring your hands all the way up so they touch your shoulders. Yogi says roll your shoulders. Yogi says touch your hands to your head, then reach them out wide. I didn't say Yogi says. Yogi says, bring your arms in by your sides. And Yogi says, walk your feet out, walk your arms out. And stop, pause. Moving on. We'll finish that game now. When we were looking at our knees, our toes and our heads, it reminded me of another song that we can use to remember all the different parts of our body. Our bodies are very important, not just for yoga, but for walking, for running, for play, for everything that we do. So placing your hands on your head, then sliding your hands to your shoulders, then all the way down to your knees and down to your toes. Bring your hands back up again and let's start our little song. If you know, sing along with me. Head, shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes. Head, shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes and eyes and ears and mouth and nose. Head, shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes. Do you want to try it faster this time? I do. Okay, I'm just going to take my feet a little bit wider so I'm nice and grounded to the floor. Hands on the head. Head, shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes. Head, shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes. And eyes and ears and mouth and nose. Head, shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes. Yay! Shake all over. Shake, 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 and stop. Freeze. Stand on one foot. Stand on the other foot. Both feet to the floor, arms up to the sky. Then twinkle your fingers all the way down so they're at the height of your shoulders. Reach your feet out wide. Take a big breath in and reach from one side of the room to the other side, like you're a big ball of golden sunlight. And as you breathe out, snap your legs and arms back in. You're a mountain. We'll call these sun jumps, shall we? Let's do four. Okay, take a big breath, reach and jump. Arms and feet wide, like the sun. And snap them back in. Two. Snap. Three. Snap. Four. And stay here and see if you can make a funny face. <laughs> oh, walk your feet back in. Okay, are you ready for some new yoga poses? I have a friend, another friend here to help me today. This is centipede, but I really did want a caterpillar. See, a centipede has the legs. But without the legs, it could be a caterpillar. So very much like the caterpillar, we're going to come down onto our tummies and see if we can wriggle across the floor like a caterpillar. Come down onto your tummy. Bring your hands in nice and close to the body. Your arms in nice and tight. And let's wriggle from side to side to start with. 
And can you wriggle up and down, lifting your shoulders, lifting your head. Maybe you could even move your feet as well. And your hips. So your whole body is wriggling. And maybe you can even walk like a caterpillar. Walk. Or slither. Crawl. Oh. And what does a caterpillar change into, I wonder? It has big, beautiful wings and it flies and it often likes to land on swan plants. You got it, a butterfly. So, we could lift our chest and lift our arms out and fly our arms like a butterfly in this way. Or we could bring our hands in, sit up on our bottoms, take your feet out to start out off with and bring one leg in and just warm up that leg, swinging it from side to side, and then place the foot on the inside of your other leg, and let's move the knee up and down, like one butterfly wing. Yes. Let's see if you can do it with the other leg, shall we? Stretch that leg out, bring the other one in, hug it in and rock it from side to side to start with. Warm up the knee, the hip, and then bring the sole of the foot, the bottom of your foot, down onto the other leg, and let's move that other knee up and down. And you guessed it, we're now going to try both legs together. So, bring both soles of the feet together, hold onto your ankles, and Let's see if we can lift our knees up and down. Can you do it a little bit faster? We're picking up height now, lifting off the ground. Maybe you can add arms as well. So bring your arms up, elbows out. <clears throat> move them up and down. Can you move them at the same time as your knees, I wonder? Try it. Lift and down, lift and down. Lift and down. Bring your knees in. Hug your heels in and tuck your chin in. So before a butterfly can be a butterfly, it is a caterpillar. And to change from a caterpillar to a butterfly, it needs to go into the dark. It needs to make a cocoon for itself. So it wraps this cocoon around its body, tucks the feet in, goes into the dark, quiet space of the cocoon, and dreams. Dreams of what it will become. So let's see if we can do that. Tuck your chin in. Close your eyes, hug your body so tightly around you, like you're giving yourself a hug, and <clears throat> imagine a beautiful butterfly. Decide which color you're going to be, and maybe you have a pattern on your wings. I think I'd like to be orange and a bit like a tiger marks on my wings. You have a think about it. Then start to lift your head. Start to press your arms against the cocoon wall. 
takes quite a lot of energy and quite a lot of movement to open up these cocoons. So really press with your elbows and start to press with your knees as well until you're able to spread your wings nice and wide. Give them a shake. Ooh, get used to them. Give your knees a shake. A rub. And bring your hands back onto your ankles. I know a butterfly song and I'm going to sing it for you. If you know the words, sing along too. There's a few actions here for you to do as well. Okay? Fly like a butterfly, fly like a butterfly, fly like a butterfly through the sky. Fly like a butterfly, fly like a butterfly, fly like a butterfly through the sky. Stretch like a butterfly, stretch like a butterfly, stretch like a butterfly up so high. Stretch like a butterfly, stretch like a butterfly, stretch like a butterfly in the sky. Twist like a butterfly, twist like a butterfly, twist like a butterfly. Sleep like a butterfly, sleep like a butterfly, sleep like a butterfly through the night. Sleep like a butterfly, sleep like a butterfly, sleep like a butterfly through the night. Grow like a butterfly, grow like a butterfly, grow like a butterfly. Fly like a butterfly, fly like a butterfly, fly like a butterfly through the sky. Fly like a butterfly, fly like a butterfly, fly like a butterfly through the sky. Bring your hands together, come back down onto your knees or onto your bottom. And rub your hands again very, very fast. <clears throat> rub them. Create warmth in the hands. And then spread your fingers wide. Take your hands apart. Take them right apart. Reach your arms wide. Fill your heart space with a whole lot of aroha. A whole lot of love. Then breathe it all back out, hugging your arms around you. Take another deep breath in, reaching wide. Fill your heart, love, gratitude, aroha, kindness. And breathe it out, hugging your arms around you. Bring your hands back to touch. Thank you for joining me for another yoga session. I'm so happy that you could be here with me today. <clears throat> Rub your hands again, nice and fast. Bring your hands onto your heart. And let's say a magical word together. We could say aroha, meaning love. Or we could also say Namaste, which means I bow to the light in you. So bringing your hands back together, bowing your head. Aroha or Namaste.